here and I just wanted to say thank you all so so much I just got the notification a few minutes ago um, saying that one of my videos reached a hundred thousand views and I can't even begin to comprehend that number for all the views that you've been giving me and for just being such an amazing audience and for subscribing and for liking my videos and for commenting I just like aren't there like 40,000 people in Gillette Stadium I don't really know don't quote me on that but I just cannot believe that that many people took the time out of their day to watch me. It just makes me feel so great to know that some people actually care about what I have to say. I just can't thank you enough. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys and show you guys all my makeup collection. I was always kind of afraid to make this video to be honest because I didn't want to be judged for the makeup that I have and I didn't want people that like knew me to see that and go wow she must be so fake because she has so much makeup because you know how some people tie in makeup with nowadays. I felt comfortable showing this to you guys because you guys have just made me feel so welcome on YouTube. I just thought that I would kind of get over myself and get over that little fear of what people are going to think about it because there are people out there who probably will be interested in seeing a video like this and that's who I'm making this video for. Again, thank you guys so much, so 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 much for being amazing. Alright, so um, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, this is my little makeup area over here. It's kind of weird lighting, I'm so sorry about that. So over here I have my Alex 9 drawer unit. This one is the Ikea mall dressing table. I'll get into the individual things as we go, but I just wanted to show you guys the overview of what this little corner here looks like. I thought I'd start off with the top of my Alex 9 drawer. And okay, so here, this little tray is from Ikea. And on top of this tray, I have these two little glass vases from Ikea as well. This one has just some Beauty Rush um, lip glosses, which are, by the way, the tube glosses from Victoria's Secret. This here, I have some Sephora samples. I just wanted to keep them out, even though they're not that pretty. I wanted to keep this out so I would remember that I need to try them out. Here I have my Evian water spray, and then I also have my Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray. And then in these little glasses here, I cannot recall where I got them from, but this one here houses my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. And then this one here is for all of my lip liners and the Stila um, lip glazes. Is that what they're called? Yes, the Stila lip glazes. Here I have some more samples I need to try out. This is actually a mug that my great aunt got for me when I went to Florida. Behind there I have some Bath & Body Works products that wouldn't fit on my Bath & Body Works shelves. And then I have this coconut body lotion from Forever 21. And then right here I have my Numi Lustrum set. Okay guys, don't mind the fact that this is a shaky little camera here. Um, I will be putting it on the tripod as soon as it's tall enough. But I thought it was pretty self-explanatory to start off with the top drawer. So I have in this drawer my foundations. I have some Rimmel back there, some Maybelline, um, some more Rimmel, and in the way back I have the Revlon Color Stay Whips and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrush Foundation. And then I also have an arrangement of BB creams and tinted moisturizers up here. Just an arrangement of different ones. I'll actually move this so you guys can see what's in here. Um, if you guys want individual collection videos where I can go more in detail of each of these products, I definitely can do that. Just let me know. Over here, I have some pressed powder foundation. And over here, I have some primers, which I have like Smashbox, Urban Decay, Hourglass, uh, Rimmel, Pure Minerals, Victoria's Secret. I have Benefit. Did I already mention Tarte? I have Tarte right there. Anyway, and I also have L'Oreal. And then over here, I have some Kabuki brushes, which are kind of tucked in the corner, kind of hidden away. So yeah, that is my foundation and primer drawer. This drawer here is kind of a weird arrangement of things. Liquid and cream cheek products are in here. And then I also have my concealers and my powders. So I'm gonna start in the back. My cream blush is back here. Elf, um, this is Maybelline Dream Bouncy, Maybelline, uh, Dream Mousse, and I have a MAC one, and then I have Urban Decay, and I have Stila. This is a wicked random little like lip pencil. I kind of just use it to keep these things from rolling around, honestly. 
I just put it right there and it stops them from moving. And then over here I have my, well this needs to move, I have my MAC strobe cream and my hard candy glow all the way, which are both kind of what I use as like liquid cheek highlighting products whenever I use them. And then over here I have kind of like the powders that wouldn't fit in this little powder drawer here, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Translucent Powder by e.l.f. and the Revlon Nearly Naked. Okay, so in here I have a couple of different powders ranging from Alme, this is the L'Oreal True Match, these are the um, Physician's Formula, and then I have the Maybelline Fit Me, another one of those L'Oreal True Match, and I have NYC, I have CoverGirl, I have, okay, Maybelline Dream Matte was my absolute favorite of all time, I'm so sad they discontinued it, and then I have one by LA Colors. And then here I have a little loose um, e.l.f. translucent high definition powder. So here I have my concealers. So over on this side I have more of the coverage concealers. This side over here. This side is more of my brightening concealers. Okay, and over here I just put my little cream cheek products that are smaller in this little section here. I have my e.l.f. All over color sticks. Is that is that what it says? Yeah. Um, I have a couple of those as well as this one right here. And then I also have some High Beam by Benefit and Benefit Watts Up right there. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's obviously the liquid version, and this is an opal. So this drawer here contains my powder, bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. So over here I have my e.l.f. bronzers. I have bronzers that look like this one here by e.l.f. and this one here. And then I also have their duos. This is the contouring blush and bronzing powder. I also have my NYC Smooth Skin, which is just amazing. This is in the color Sunny. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. Then I have this bronzer here, which is by Victoria's Secret. It's in the color Goddess. Then I have like the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I have a Wet n Wild. I have MAC Soft Sand. Then I have Pure Minerals bronzer. It's a really orangey bronzer in my opinion. And then I also have my new edition Bahama Mama by The Balm. And then I have some Beauty Rush by Victoria's Secret. I have MAC Blunt. It's a beautiful deep contour shade. Some Tarte and I have Benefit Hula. Over here I have Chanel. An e.l.f. blush here. All my other ones are deep potted. Blushing Rose. Then I have Victoria's Secret. I have some box blushes here. This is Rockatour by Benefit. This one is Fox in a Box by Hard Candy. I have Cargo. One of my all-time favorite blushes is this one by Tarte. It's their Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush in the color Exposed. Just flush of color. I just love it. Oh, my all-time favorites at the drugstore are hands down the Milani um, baked blushes. This one is Luminoso, this one is Coralina. Love those so much, and plus they're beautiful, so I mean, can't go wrong. I also have a mini NARS, this is in the color Deep Throat. And I have some Jordana, are these Jordana, I believe? Yes. Some Jordana blushes as well, which are also amazing and highly pigmented and smooth and just amazing. And then as for my highlights, I have the MAC Fairly Precious from their Extra Dimension um, finish. Um, and then I also have Mary Luminizer, which is absolutely stunning, another new addition to my collection. Then I also have my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. This is Opal. This one's Moonstone. And then I also have the Too Faced Pink Leopard. I'm sorry, I almost left this one out. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8-Hour Powder Blush in the color Score. Okay, so this drawer, these are bases here, some loose shadows here. I have my primers as well in the front, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda hop right into it. Here I have some sample primers by Urban Decay. Over here I have some depotted NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils. I have my um, color tattoo here to here. And then up here I have my um, MAC paint pots. Then I have my e.l.f. cream eyeshadows over here. And then over here I have a smoke bomb by The Balm. I have a couple of other little individual palello. Wow. That happened. <laughs> I have a MAC Marilyn Monroe, some LA Colors here. I have some Alme. I have L'Oreal, Wet n Wild, which this is absolutely awesome by the way. I have two individual MAC shadows. I have a Stila shadow, Urban Decay, a Sephora, Too Faced, Elf. I have some little palettes on the side here by NYX. 
and then Lancome, Clinique, really random stuff. This is the Stila Foil Shadow. I also have behind it some of the e.l.f. Mineral eyeshadows. I have another depotted jumbo eyeshadow pencil right here. And then in the front, which are kind of hidden, I have my Revlon Cream Shadow Palettes. And then up in the front, these are by Illamasqua, brand new additions. I love them so much. Um, and then in the front here, I have this little container that I use for my um, primers. This used to be one of those little three-way dividers for like cotton pads, cotton balls, and cotton swabs. I put my bigger primers here. I have just e.l.f. and Too Faced. And my smaller primers in the little section. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go down to the next drawer. So here, this drawer is dedicated to liners, mascaras, lashes, and brows. So up here in the front where there is no divider, I have my miniature mascaras, Mega Plush, I have the Rocket. My absolute favorite, if you guys can't tell, is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I have some kind of eye drops here, some eyelash glue, some eyelash curlers, little brush guards, some sample containers, strip lashes, individual lashes. And up in the front here, I have my liners, like I was saying. Um, it's such an arrangement, but I have some liquids, I have some um, pencil, I have a gel right here. My absolute favorite liquid is the Kat Von D, as in I've used it the most, but this one actually dries out really fast, and I've found that this one is a little bit longer lasting. And also, not only does it last longer in the tube, but lasts longer on your eyes as well. So I do actually think this is my new favorite. It's just, it's hard to say it's my all-time favorite because I've only used it a few times. I also have like the NARS pencils, uh, Prestige, and things like that. And over in the brow section, I have my Anastasia um, brow powder. I have my Brow Wiz. I have uh, a Milani pencil here. Elf gel, Anastasia gel. I have a Milani um, brow and eye highlighter. I have some sharpeners and tweezers and things like that in here. The next drawer down has become my new favorite, which is kind of weird because I used to never have any, but this is my lipstick drawer. I actually just went through this last night and cleared it out because this, these were all full and it was kind of ridiculous because a lot of them, okay, so it was also full of these, which I separated into these little containers here, which you'll see later. But it was kind of ridiculous to have um, those in here because they were just all falling everywhere like this. It looked really messy. So I took them out and I put just lipsticks in here. So I have in the back here some more of my balm style lipsticks like Color Riche Balms. And I have um, the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. And I have a couple of other little like buttery type textures back there. And then I actually have these all organized by color. Nudes and then into kind of like deeper nudes. And then like over here is really deep nudes. This up here goes into pinks. And then over here it goes into like pinky purples as you can see here. And then it goes back into like this hot kind of pink little phase over here. Until it gets to orangey reds and then deep reds. And then wicked deep dark whatever the heck you would call this color. <laughs> and over here I have some glosses. Um, these glosses are ones that I won't really likely gravitate towards though. Um, so I do have them kind of separated from the glosses on my vanity table. And then I have these glosses here, which I actually do reach for a ton because they're so fun for the summertime. Like these are the buxom um, glosses. I have the brights and the nudes. And then I have a sample of an Urban Decay gloss and of a Sephora lipstick which is more like a balm texture anyway. So yeah, if you guys are curious about this individual collection, I'd love to film it one day. This, by the way, Matte Diva is a dupe for Candy Yum Yum by MAC. This is by Milani. In case that wasn't in focus, this is my lipstick drawer here. So these are my palettes here. Okay, so on this side I have smaller palettes. I'm just gonna sit down. Okay, way easier. Um, that's my trash can. This can move the heck out of the way, that's gross. I have my Naked Basics by Urban Decay. I have Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance Policy, NYX Bohemian Chic Palette, Sigma Creme de Couture Palette, which is also given to me by my friend. I also have uh, my Love and Beauty by Forever 21 Palette, which I actually do enjoy. Um, it does have a decent color payoff and things like that. I also have my Sigma Resort Palette, which is absolutely the coolest thing ever. I have the Sigma Liquid Highlighter, which I probably should take out and put up there, so I'm more likely to use it Will I do that though? I believe this was limited edition. Yes, it was. I'm not sure if they still have it up there anymore. 
Um, and I also absolutely adore my um, Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. And I have, um, this is the Nude Tude by The Balm. Another favorite, but one that I actually haven't reached for in a long time, is my Lorac Pro palette. Absolutely do adore this. It's the most pigmented eyeshadows I've ever worked with. Um, but yeah, it's just stunning. And I also have all three of my Naked palettes, Naked 1, 2, and 3. If you guys would ever like a comparison video or an individual palette collection, an updated one, because I did film one a while ago, it was pretty popular, so I guess I could film an updated palette collection if you guys are interested. Um, and I also have my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, um, this Kat Von D palette, which is called Spellbinding Eyeshadow Book. I got this from my friend as well, the same one that gave me the Macaroon palette, and I absolutely love these. And I also have um, Coastal Scents palettes back here, the Warm palette, their original palette, and below that is the Shani Cosmetics 96 color palette. And then back here I just have a couple of random palettes that I really don't care too much for. These are my Depotted blushes by e.l.f. It's, this is so tacky, don't judge me, I made this like in probably 8th grade. And then I also have the Smoky palette by Coastal Scents, and I also have this little quirky little thing, I'll show you guys this, by the company Makeover Essentials. I also have my Anastasia Contour Kit right here, as well as my NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette, and yeah, that's pretty much all that's in this little drawer here. So, next one down is not makeup at all. This is actually the um, hair products that I have that wouldn't fit in my normal hair product storage. And lastly is my skincare drawer. So up here I have my kind of more reached for products. Besides these, these are just for display. These are my MAC lipsticks. I have nine of them in total because I also have this one here. Normally my favorite mascara is right here, but this is just my bottom lash mascara. I have no idea where my mascara went, but I guess I'm just gonna have to use one of the ones in my drawer. Um, I have my Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is a sample of it. I'm just kind of using it up while I have it. Um, I have a sharpener. I have my favorite lip liner pencil, which is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. I have um, my favorite foundation. Um, this primer, which I don't really normally need a primer. It's just whenever I do want to use one for longevity purposes, I do use this one. My favorite ever eye cream is right here. This is the Ole Henriksen. I'm not sure which one it is. I just know it's Ole Henriksen and I love it. This is the um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30. Oops. And then I also have um, my favorite of all time under eye setting powder, which is the Smooth Skin by NYC. I also have some Hourglass products. I have their um, Hourglass Bronzer. I have the Tarte um, Park Ave Princess. And then I also have another um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting product. This is the blush in the shade, let's see, Luminous Flush. Absolutely love their ambient lines. Whenever I'm powdering all over, wherever I'm setting foundation to prevent oil or anything like that, I love this Bare Minerals Ready Touch Up Veil. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which is absolutely insane. I love this stuff so much. I also have in the back here um, my used brushes. Dirty brushes go back here because I refuse to put them back. That's not me being a germaphobe, that's me being acne prone, sadly. I have a couple of little things. The Luminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. Favorite mascara of all time. Burt's Bees Wild Cherry Lip Balm here. I have some brow things, which is the Hourglass Arch Brow Benefit Gimme Brow. So I have my Beauty Blender, my brand new one is in here. I have my Real Techniques blending sponge with the mini beauty blender for the under eye area. Then I also have this huge kabuki by Claire's, which I just didn't really have anywhere else to put it. So, um, I have an array of face brushes. I'm not really going to get into the individuals. By the way, if you're wondering where I got this little container here, I actually made this. I got the um, glass at Michael's. I got Mod Podge, which is an adhesive um, at Michael's, and I painted it on the inside. And then I coated the inside with um, a bunch of glitter, I dumped it out, and then I kind of just turned until it was completely coated, and I left that um, upside down for, I believe, a full day. And then afterwards, I just added these little filler beads in it so I could put my brushes inside. So I have two of those, one for my face brushes and one for my eye brushes over there. If you guys ever want me to go into an individual video on just my brushes, face and eye, and things like that, Definitely let me know, I will make that. It's just, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave that to a later video. 
So like I said earlier, I also have some brushes over here. It's just, as you can see, this looks completely empty. That is because the majority of my eye brushes are actually in that dirty container you saw back there. Same with my face brushes. I also have some new ones sitting right here by Morphe that are still in their packaging. So for now, those are in that little mason jar. Um, oh, awkward you can see me. I probably should show you guys that actually. This mirror here is amazing. This is my Otlight mirror. Seriously, the best in the game. It's a super bright, natural light bulb. I keep my contacts right here, by the way. That just It doesn't look very pretty, but that was the reality of where I keep them, so I didn't want to move them. I have these two little glasses here. This houses my um, lip pencil type products, Revlon Color Burst and Lacquer Bombs. I have some matte ones, and then I have the original, which is just called the um, Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain. NYX, um... Simply Pink and Simply Nude pencils. Also have some of these lip stains by Rimmel. This is the Rimmel London Provocalypse 16 Hour Wear. And then over here I have glosses, um, some Buxom, some NYX, some Rimmel. Uh, I have a Marc Jacobs one here which is absolutely stunning. I have some MAC. I have MAC here and MAC here. And I believe this one is Artistry. No, this one is Whitening Lightning. That just holds some of my more reached for lip glosses. So lastly, I just want to show you guys what's inside this drawer here. I use it for my hair tools. I have my least used to my most used. That's kind of the order that they're running in. I have a little mirror here. I also have makeup remover in here, some um, contacts, some cotton balls, and stuff like that. So you can't really see much in here, but it's not makeup anyway, so who really cares? I love it so much. You should definitely get it. What in the world? Do you think you are doing there? You, my friend, should go away. Rosie! Rosie! Rosie, no! Okay, that over there is Marilyn Monroe staring back at you. <laughs> that was creepy. I don't think you've ever seen this before on my videos. If I can get to it. Uh, ow. This has like little brushes on the bottom. Hey. <laughs>